Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what's on my iPhone. I did update some things. I added a different wallpaper with the new iOS 16 update they had. And I feel like it's just so many cool details I have to share with you guys. And I also do have a Caseify case haul with a lot of cute cases I'm about to show you. I'm really excited and let's just jump into the video. So thank you so much to Caseify for partnering with me in this video. If if you guys have seen my other videos, I literally love Caseify and all their cases. All my cases are basically from there. They've lasted me so much. Literally, this one is like one of the first cases I have from Caseify, and I've used this so much. And my phone is literally safe and it's in great condition. It's still like brand new. But yeah, I literally love their cases. Caseify's impact and ultra impact cases are made out of 65% recycled material or plant-based material. They also have the Chi Tech 2.0 technology that has every corner covered keeping your phone protected from an up to 9.8 foot drop and they were so kind enough to send me some cases i literally love these cases they're so so cute i do plan on getting a new phone pretty soon um so i got all my cases for the iphone 13 i believe i'm gonna start off with this one this one's literally my favorite case i own it is so so cute this is how the case looks like it just says thank you have a nice day and like all the letters just around the case and then it has like a sun in the middle the little smiley face i literally am obsessed with it and something i love about this case is that it literally looks like it has glitter on the side but in reality it's just a lot of like recycled plastic but it looks so so cool and it also just says it on the side of the case that this case is made out of recycled plastic which is so cool and i love that for the environment and then this case is also customized to have these little bumpers on the corner these literally save my phone every single time i drop them it basically helps like the phone bounce from the corners and then going on to this phone case this one is different from any other case i've had and it is so, so cool. Caseify came out with these new pillowcases and they come in this like violet purple and Kelly green. I literally love this purple. It is so, so cute. These cases are squishy and glossy and I literally love that. And protect your phone from the drops because they are like little puffed up on the back. This one was customized to have my name on the case. It says my name right here. They do have like some two 2000 inspired like fonts that you can choose from this one is just like a bubble letter font and i literally love that and then it has a little heart in the end which is so so cute and if you do end up dropping this in the water it will protect your phone more because it is made out of water resistant material so it protects the phone um, from getting any water into it these phone cases are wireless charging water resistant and they are made out of 90 percent of recycled material a lot of their cases are meant to be customized and you can literally change it from the font of the text, you can change the text, you can change the border of like the phone case. There's so much that you can do to it, which can help you match it to your style and match it to any outfits you wanna have in specific. The next phone case is this really, really cute clear phone case. Um, This one is like giving me like some spring vibes because it has little flowers on it, which is so, so cute. It says refresh, enjoy life. I really like that phone case. And there is like some brown and like white or like a beige color flowers on it but i really like that it's clear and i'm really excited to put this on it's probably like my first phone case i put on my new iphone then going on to the last phone case which is more of like a bright or like colorful phone case i got it has so many colors on it this is definitely a phone case i would put on my phone if i'm traveling i just really like that it has like a bunch of like tags from like different places around the world it says chicago um, Las Vegas, New York City, Atlanta. There's so many. Some I really can't pronounce well, so I'm not gonna say it, but there's some different ones in the bottom. There's so many, and I love that I customized it to be like a pink border on the side, and it is a clear case. I love that their cases just last so long and they just can match your style. Right now, I'm gonna do the drop test. You probably already know if you watch my other case if I like what's on my iPhone videos that I do a iPhone like drop test with the case so I'm gonna do that right now so 
right now i'm gonna start off by showing you guys the new wallpaper i have on my phone from the update of the ios 16. so to do that you want to go onto the home screen and then once you're on the home screen you're going to go down and then you're going to get your lock screen on there um you're going to hold it and it's going to like zoom out and you're going to have a customized little box on the bottom you're going to want to click on that because it's going to take you directly to where you can like edit your wallpaper there is so many things that you can do to it you can change the color of the font you can change the font you can like crop it you can add widgets so to start off on the bottom left you click on the little like rectangular square it's going to take you directly to your album where you can select any picture that you would like to have as your new wallpaper um which is what i did for mine i just selected a picture that i had which was me and my dog um taking a little mirror picture to edit the like color and font all you have to do is go on to like the top where it says like the time it is super late right now it's 9 14. you want to click on that and then it's going to pop up with like the font and colors selection thing and mine is just simple it just looks like that and if you want to edit to be something else you can just click on it mine is just this one so i'm going to keep it on that one for now and to change the color there's literally any color there is in the rainbow there's blue purple pink orange yellow um green i love that green it's so cute and you can change it to be like darker or lighter on the bottom it has like the little bar and if you want to pick any color that's like on your wallpaper in specific so if there's like a lot of brown in your wallpaper you can select that little circle at the end that has like a lot of colors and it's going to take you to like this i don't know pop-up that has a lot of different colors and this little like utensil thing on the top left you want to click on that and then it's gonna basically allow you to select any color on your wallpaper so for example like brown or white that i have in mine i have pink literally any color to like match your wallpaper in a way there is also this like widget part so you can change the widgets on your phone add it on that little bar so if you're on your lock screen it just pops up there and you don't have to like enter your screen which is super cool you want to click on that little like plus sign and then it's gonna say add widgets there's so many widgets that you can choose from there's this like weather one this calendar one those three would pop up there and without even entering my iphone it's gonna literally be there which comes in handy if you don't want to like have to open your phone and then go check the app in specific um right now mine says none for calendar because i don't have anything on the calendar right now then it says the weather of the place that you are at so for example mine says location is off i'm not sure how to turn it back on i've been trying to look for that the whole entire day and i I can't find it. I don't know where it is. So if you do not have that on your iPhone right now, I would definitely add it. But I don't know how to do that. If you do know how to do that and turn on your location, please let me know in the comments of this video because I need to figure that out. And I really want to have it on here. But I'm going to erase the widgets right now because I don't really want them on there. And you could also crop your picture of your wallpaper. It just says pinch to crop. So you could just do that and change it around. And then if you want to like change a color of like the wallpaper that you have. I barely found out that you can do that literally today. And it is so cool. You basically just slide towards the left. And then there's like this black and white color. Which I like but it looks sad. So I'm not going to add that one and then it says um dual tone for the next one which is really nice i really like that color too there's color wash and then i think that's it for those i'm gonna keep it in the regular one for now or might even leave it in the dual tone i like how that looks it looks pretty cool it's like a x-ray in a way like the colors i'm gonna leave it in natural and then if you want to change your home screen you just select the done little like circle on the top right it's gonna take you to like this little pop-up that says set as wallpaper pair or customize home screen i'm gonna do customize home screen and it's gonna take me to like this pop-up again that says photos gradient um or color mine is just like this purple pink color that i got from like google i just searched up a color and like took a screenshot of it um and then you can also blur it out which i found pretty cool because sometimes the apps are not really seen because the wallpaper kind of covers it or like blends in with it so that's a pretty cool option of blurring it out and then you could put 
put gradient or color in specific mine is just this one which is purple pink again i'm gonna click on done i'm gonna show you how that looks right now so it just looks like that i'm gonna go into like what's on my iphone in a minute right now going back to the wallpaper it also has different options so you could basically have some saved already and like switch throughout like the wallpapers that are on there i have this weather one again it says location services are off don't know how to turn that back on if you do know let me know once again um it does have like two little widgets on the top but i know that once you have your location on and if it's like sunny it's gonna have like a sun on there or if it's like raining it has like this cool effect to it of like rain i have not seen how it looks i'm can't really do that and then for the astronomy i found this one so cool like it kind of wanted me to leave it on that one and it literally zooms in to the moon it's so cool this is how it looks like you can zoom in and it looks like high quality i love it and then on the other one it is earth and that one is the one I literally found out that I had today. I did not know that you can swipe and go to different ones. Um, It was so cool, like the details that go into this. Then you could also swipe again and it's going to show you the accurate solar system and how it looks like right now, which is pretty cool just to look at it and see where it's at right now. Um, This is how it looks like. I, that's that one. You can cancel. There's so many. There's like this collection one. Um, I like the colors of this one, but I'm going to keep it on the one I have right now. And then right now I'm going to show you what's on my actual like app sections and my home screen. So this is the little widget I have on the top. It's like this pink or like baby pink color and then on the background It's just like purple. I love that it does not really blend in with the apps that much and then um, The widgets are basically customized on the widget smith app. There's two different ones There's photo widget and then widget smith, but this one I think is photo widget um, It lets you like select the background color the border color the text color the font it's so much that you can do to it and that's the one i have right now i just like the colors overall and then i have the google maps app gmail which is something i use literally every single day and then i have a facebook camera photos youtube instagram group me weather a little widget once again with a picture of my dog this one's actually recent i think i probably took this like a week ago i love that picture of him like just opening his mouth because he was like tired or and then on the bottom I have the phone, messages, safari, and then find my iPhone. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I find my iPhone has to be in my first page because I lose my phone like every single second. I might even have it in my pocket and I lose it. So it's it's that bad. So I need to have it in my home screen. And then I have three little like widgets that I made, which I will go more in depth in a little second. But first I have clock, YouTube studio, which is what I use to check my analytics for YouTube. Then I have Pinterest. If you've not followed me on pinterest um definitely go do that i have a lot of boards on there that i do add um every once in a while right now i have not added in a while but i'm gonna go into that probably this week and add a lot more because i've not added in a month that's like bad i need to add some this is what my account is um i think it's address ri 122 i'm gonna put it in the link in the description box so that's that and then i have the app store whatsapp tiktok messenger snapchat facebook calendar and then i have google an editing folder which has a lot of editing things like canva drive fonto um or fonto i don't know how to say that app and then unfold eraser bizarre the eraser app erases like background and then it has a blur which is just to blur out things iMovie and then Lightroom and that's what I have for that and then snapchat I use that too much what do I look like right now it looks so bad I need a filter no I don't like this filter and then going on to the widgets that I did not finish explaining how I did I went to Canva and then after that I took the picture put it on there and then made a circle with the same color of the background on my wallpaper so this allowed me to basically blend it in with with the wallpaper so i really like that i did a big um circle on the top with like a picture of me the second one was in a cubs game or a bear no bears game and then the last one which is like the smallest picture is me at 
a Cubs game and I really had a lot of fun those days. So I just put those three pictures. If you want to have a tutorial on how I did that, let me know and I'll do a video and I can show you guys how I did like those little circular widget things. I feel like I did not explain it that well, but it's really confusing. Honestly, I don't know how to explain it myself. And on the next page, I have so many little like to do things. I have four, which I'm going to probably blur out. Um, But I just have like those four things and then I have maps, this Apple folder which has like all the Apple apps that come with the phone that I don't use like voice memos, compass, stocks, watch, translate tips, iTunes, news, and health and like six other ones which I don't really use. So after the Apple little like folder I have, I have settings, the mail, and then I have the random folder which has random apps. It's pretty self-explanatory. I have home, podcast, contact, widget smith which is what I use to like edit my widgets on my home screen and then i have chrome amazon alexa universal studios the photo widget app i have the shop folder which has a lot of like you know stores i mean i probably shop to i don't know and, and then i have this school folder which docs doom photo math group me which is what i use to like connect with my coaches for sports and stuff classroom and then i have this game folder i don't really use any of these games anymore on the next page i have this finance folder which has just finance stuff like paypal and wallet and then i have notes which i use so much and then i have visco which i do use also and i want to add so many more things on here and yes everything i have and the updates for the ios 16 so if you liked watching this video make sure to subscribe like and share and please don't forget to check out caseify and check out all these adorable cases like their cases are just such good quality and these are just some of them and i'm so excited to use these so make sure you go to caseify.com slash for 15 percent off your caseify cases the link in the description box so go check it out so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye